Good morning, my loving Tiffany Thinks family. How are you all? I think you're watching this video when it's Easter, so happy Easter. We're celebrating actual Easter with Matt's family. Sorry about my dry face, by the way. I need to sort that out. Last night, Matt and I, we came here and we're staying here with Amma. We just wanted to kind of celebrate. When we got the results, we just wanted to celebrate and be with Amma as well because it, it means so much to her as well and it's so important to be together for the good and the bad and when we got the results it was it was just unreal and I told Amma over the phone but it wasn't like telling her face to face and giving her a big cuddle we just decided to come stay here with her and she's got we've all got a day off today so even my sister so we're all kind of meeting up here um, and yeah, I'm just, I don't know, ever since I got the results, I I feel really, really calm. And I felt calm anyways, but this is another level of, thank you, God, you know, I can't believe, I just can't believe it. So, um, we don't need to think about scans for another three months, which is a whoop, whoop, whoop. Do you know what? Amma loves this. This is Amma's favourite. Oh, wow. Matt! This is a nice one, this is a nice one isn't it? Is it good? This is a good one, yeah. What it's called it? a Miffy ball. It's like an Ella ball. Mmm, Ella ball. I love Ella ball. How do you get it? I won't give it my mum. Nuts and dates. Yeah. Basically, I know some of you asked me to ask mm. Matt Nuts to give the, re uh, the recipe, <laughs> the ingredients, but... The receipt. The receipt. <laughs> the ingredients, but Matt said when he's perfected it, he'll show you guys how to make a Miffy ball. Everything nice is enough. super dry. I'm going to oil up my face. Powder. Nuts. So good. So good. Hi Nuts everyone. Dates, <laughs> coconut oil, little mm. bit of coconut oil, and okay. cocoa butter. Mm. Mm. This is probably your best That's one. That's the best batch. Mm. Mm. Definitely good. Better than edible. What are you on about? Ooh! You can go back for edible. Yeah. Ella ball is so expensive. Which Ella? You know, delicious the Ella, not Ella, as not in my Ella. niece. Oh, Bella. <laughs> not my niece Ella. And a little bit of moisturizer and lip balm. Oh, my sister gave up chocolate for Easter, and I've got a big bar of chocolate for her. Um, I might give it to her now. Yeah, let's do it. Happy Easter! Look at that! Look at the size of that! These two are doing work bits on their laptop. I'm thinking of going to a coffee shop. I'm gonna hop into the coffee shop and then my jaw drop and chuck. Um, <laughs> um, we are gonna go to a coffee shop and I told these two to bring their laptops with them. I'm gonna bring mine as well and we can be those people that sit and do laptop bits. I just wanna get a really nice coffee. I'm thinking of going to Primo Cafe because I haven't been there Actually, I went there with Amma last, but where we don't live near there anymore, it's kind of a treat. So, are you guys feeling primo? My sister's really obsessed with um, this pistachio aragostini. Pistachio cream. Is it called an aragostini? Yeah. It's like pistachio cream in a croissant. But it's crispy Italian. Mm -hmm. Crispy Italian, I don't know if you could hear her. So we're going to try that, have a little coffee, start the day with that. Call Matt going for dentist. Matt has got a dentist appointment, but... Are you going to meet us there, or do you want us oh, to? Sure. Where's the dentist? No, his appointment's going to be That's quite long. Actually, how? Oh. Are you okay? <laughs> right, I bought my makeup bag because my sister wanted to try out some bits and bobs. <laughs> this is the all. This is my whole makeup collection. This is it, and I love that it's in this bag because whenever I need to go anywhere, I just need to pick this up. You definitely have more than me. Though. Sure. Really? Mm -hmm. I feel like you have really... My sister has makeup from 2010 even. <laughs> you know from her first makeup tutorial that she watched, which was at Dolce Candy? Yeah, ages ago, yeah. If you know, you know. I'm pretty sure my sister still has those like makeup items in her collection because my sister is a hoarder. So, these are the two I want you to try out. Mm -hmm. Because I use it every day. So refreshing. If you have a cheaper alternative to this, please let what me know. It's expensive? quite expensive, yeah. How much? I didn't want to tell you because you'll shout. How much is it? On you. Let me spray you. You do that and you do that. But it is makeup. It's not, it's like a glow. <laughs> well, I might just take some in the pot. You are not taking some in the pot. Why? I'm going to get some. <laughs> you bring some again. My hands are shiny. Look at her, she looks so cute. You look like Ella. <laughs> Can you decant some in the pot? I'm gonna ignore you. Why? It's expensive. 
for Christmas, I bought my sister like face mask, eye masks. Guess where they are? The We're in the end of March and it's still in the fridge. She doesn't use it. But I always I tell her to keep it in the fridge because you you know what I'm like. I like it really cold. So I told her keep it in the fridge. And my brother-in-law must look at it every day and think, what is this? What is this? <laughs> yeah, knowing him, he would have chucked it in the bin. It's been in the fridge for too long. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna spray this on our face. That feel nice. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. Oh. I sneezed and look what happened. <laughs> Do you know um, if you would follow my Instagram page at Tiffany Thinks Book Club? I absolutely loved. I still think about it. The housemaid and it's right up my sister's street. I I read all kinds of books. And I just know that she's gonna absolutely love the housemaid. I'm giving her the copy. Think with my sister, she's not like me when she reads, right? I'm very careful when I turn a page. I keep it really neat and I yeah, like- I'd rather buy my own book. <laughs> my sister said she'd rather buy her own book. What it is, I'm very, I don't like bending the pages. I don't like it to be, I just like the book to look neat. And I know there's some people that are like that and some people just don't care. They just want to really open up the book. My sister's very much, let's open up the book and not worry about the pages. Whereas I take my time. If my hands are dirty, I'll clean it before I touch the book. So I'm giving her the actual copy of the housemaid. So I hope she doesn't damage it. I know exactly what's going to happen. She's going to leave it and the kids are going to play with it and write in it. Mm -hmm. And she's gonna call me and say, I'm so sorry, but your book is damaged. I've always been like that, haven't I? Yeah. Do you remember when I was younger? I'd never, ever, I would cry. I would actually cry if my, because I would know if my sister's gone through my things and I would just cry. I bought some uh, face, not face masks, eye masks to give to my sister. And I also got, here's a book that I'm gonna give her. I'm so excited for her to read it. What's that? Eye masks. Grace and Stella, everything's pink, better pink. Ooh, collagen mask. Put it, put it in the fridge, yeah? Is it? Yeah, and please be careful of my book. Well, I don't want to be, that's so neat. I know. What do you do if I bend it? Then you have to buy me a new one. No, I'm not buying a new one. <laughs> We're on our way to Primo Cafe, and Matt's driving. Um, I didn't want to come because she um, has so much she needs to do. What's I think we'll go home and buy a home. Okay. <laughs> I don't have anything. Not at home. At home, yeah. yeah. We're going home now. We spent ages because Matt had an appointment at the dentist. How's that? Good. What did it, was it painful? Oh, lovely shiny Very teeth. Clean, isn't it? I did take my laptop with me, and my sister had her laptop too. So we were just doing laptop bits until Matt picked us up. He was with us for a little while, had a coffee, and then he went to his dentist. Not that anyone cares right now. Gonna go home, see my lovely Emma, and um, no other plans. <laughs> my head popped out. What? My head popped out. <laughs> We're home, and guess what Amma's made? I can't believe it, it's just so fresh, and can you guess what Amma's made? Next time, I need to show you how Amma makes this, because I think you guys would absolutely love this. Amma, can I show them next time when you make it? Yeah? I have to do it, because this is scrum de Whenever we come round, let me turn you around. This is called, I've shown you so many times, chumbel, and it's coconut with chilies. You can have this with bread, or roti or anything like that it's just scrumdiddly umptious and amma's made this fresh i don't think i've ever shown you how she makes it um but next time i think the next time i'm here i'll show you how she does it this time i'll do kind of a step by step like showing you how she does it because i want to learn as well and i can't get it as perfect as amma so let's kind of learn together i just need to kind of 
have a day like each time I come down to see her whenever she's making something I need to have my diary and just write down her recipes because Amma can cook really good Sri Lankan food her Sri Lankan food is top tier yeah. do you know someone said that we don't say I love you to each other what? I don't know I read a comment and I was laughing because of course I'm not gonna say Matt I love you I'm no. not gonna say that when I'm vlogging because I, I, te like I tell him all the time. I don't need to tell him on YouTube. Like, <laughs> Matt went to the shops. He hopped into the shop and he got fresh bread. Look at that. Nice fresh bread from the bakery. You need fresh bread like that from, for a sambal and <laughs> bake. Do you want some? Yeah. <laughs> I can hear my sister coming it's in. Fresh, fresh bread. Ooh. My sister wants to wash her car. So we're going to go do that. Are you putting some butter on it as well? Just... No, no butter, it's just simple, like plain bread. Give me a plate. Yeah, I'll give you a plate. <laughs> Is the bread you want me to get? No. no, you need sourdough bread. Uh, Jason's sourdough yeah. bread is top tier. Oh, you need to toast it. It's so good. It's so, so yum. Mm. I'm going to have a little bit. That is quite spicy. I'm not going to lie. That's very, very spicy. <laughs> it's very spicy. Um, I'm not gonna have any more of that because that's way too spicy. I'm running upstairs because I need to sort out my stoma supplies. I I got delivery of a lot and I just need to organize it and just make sure that the order is correct. I don't think I've ever shown you. So what happens is I make an order and then they deliver it. And so this is the order for this month. Oh, I hope the camera doesn't fall. Okay, I'm gonna put you up there. I don't think the camera's gonna fall if it's there. I hope you're okay. Yeah, so what happens is every month I have to make an order. It's basically a prescription. So you tell them what you need. Sometimes I order a lot, sometimes I order less. Every, every month is different, just depending on um, the month, which makes sense. That's why I have to order every month. So I ordered four of these sprays some wipes like dry wipes and they also give you some wet wipes and then the actual stoma bag as well Hollister ones it's not the same company as the Hollister clothing line <laughs> it's a different Hollister so I ordered two boxes for this month what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this back to mine I'm just going to take the whole box like this. I always check. Anytime I get the delivery, I always check just to make sure that they're not missing anything or just so that I know what got delivered. I know um, I don't talk about the stoma side of things a lot on here, but I think it's because I'm just kind of... It's my life now, you know, this is my life. And I know some people still to this day don't believe I have a stoma, which is crazy to me because <laughs> I don't know why. Some people, can, listen to this, some people don't believe I have a stoma. How mental is that? I don't, I don't know. I think it's because I don't talk about it. I don't show it and I just kind of get on with it. It's, it's part of my life. It's just me. Essentially, you don't walk around talking about your bum, do you? Or <laughs> so it's the equivalent of that you don't talk about your bum so I guess that's why I don't talk about the stoma a lot a lot but it's my life now and I'm I've accepted it you know it did take me a long time but how I see it is if I didn't have the stoma I wouldn't be here today so I'm just grateful I'm pure grateful for ow <laughs> I'm pure grateful for my little stoma if I had a choice, I wish I didn't have it. Of course, I wish I could go to the toilet like a normal person, but this is my new normal, you know? This is just me, this is my body. It's honestly made me, the way I dress is a lot different. I do wear kind of different kinds of clothes and I don't wear train, not trainers, I don't wear jeans a lot because it's just not comfortable, but I've never really felt comfortable with jeans anyways. I still wear it, but, um, I don't like wearing tight skinny jeans because it's just, it's not comfortable. So, and I do think about when I buy new clothes, I do think about how would my stoma look or would the bag be protruding? Would, you know, I do, it is a new way of thinking. And there's times where I think, oh, I can't wear this and I can't wear that. That's my personal kind of preference. There's people out there that 
don't mind if the stoma bag sticks out or it's just what you're comfortable with and I guess over time things will be different and I will feel more confident and but right now I'm not at a place where I'm ready to kind of show it I just feel the more I talk about it I get comments with oh I've got a stoma or I've had a stoma for this long and this is it so I think it is really important that I do talk about it I just kind of don't mention it whether something goes wrong with it or I I don't know I just don't think about talking about it because is that a point where I have to accept that this is my life? I've accepted that this is it now. I, I'm never ever going to live without a stoma. So I do get some questions um, asking me if I will ever, if I will have the reversal surgery. That's never going to be an option for me because where they've removed all of that out of me, um, I will never be able to live without a stoma now. So it's just one of those things that I don't, I should talk about it more so if you have any questions or you would like if you have anything that you're wondering about and you're thinking oh I can't ask anyone let me ask Tiffany please leave them down in the comments below and maybe I could do a video answering some questions about the stoma I just kind of don't think about it as much as I used to and if I ever get sad about it there's moments where I do get a bit oh I wish I didn't have it you know I wish I didn't have a stoma and I quickly snap out of it it is a lot of mind mind controlling how your mind thinks about it the minute i feel a bit down about it i think well tiffany you're alive today would you rather not be alive you know so i do kind of tell myself that having the stoma is such a blessing because technology and how the surgeons have done the surgery for me it's a actual it's such a talent, isn't it, for a surgeon to be able to remove all these organs and for me to still be here today is honestly mind-blowing. If you don't know about the surgery, please type in pelvic exenteration. They managed to save my bladder. Some people, um, I genuinely thought I wouldn't have a bladder and if I didn't have a bladder, it would have been two bags. So um, yeah, if you're, if you're wondering what kind of surgery, Google it and then you'll see how talented these surgeons are because I, I still think, wow, how incredible is it that they managed to do all of that and I still am here, you know, I'm still here, I'm sitting up. So I'm sorry, when I was talking, I had a little breadcrumb here so if that was annoying you i'm sorry about that i feel like i always have food all over my face we are getting my sister's car washed <laughs> at the car wash and i just want to tell you my sister was haggling she was haggling with the guy which is kind of funny and he said, sorry my boss price <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, well, I've got a Beetha car. There was, there was a small car, but I chose... She was like, it's a small car. Are you sure that's the price? And he was like, yeah, I don't come I up with no the price. I said, don't clean the he booth. Said, she's like, don't clean the booth. Does that, like, the booth. Don't clean the booth. It doesn't make it cheaper. And he said, no. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, you have to haggle. You have to haggle. You have to. That's actually hilarious. There's no harm in trying. True. Like, he didn't budge. He was not budging on the price. Yeah, good, 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 my boss price. <laughs> Do you know what that reminds me of? Are you watching The Apprentice? I actually have to catch up on that. That reminded me of The Apprentice. You know, sometimes you just kind of, when they are negotiating with the price, oh, when they're negotiating with the price, you kind of, you're cringing out a little bit because they're like, 16 pounds, no, 17. Handshake at 17.50. And you're like cringing. That's kind of funny. I need to watch The Apprentice. Are you watching it this year? No. Nope. Are you watching it this year? I don't have time to watch that. It's a great show. The Apprentice is one of those ones that Matt and I love to watch together. And that's the only show I will watch with him and not watch ahead. You know, I like watching it with him. We're just sitting in the waiting area whilst my sister's car's getting clean. Honestly, she tricked me. She said, oh, come, let's go pick up the kids. And now I'm sitting here with her in the waiting area <laughs> with her um, while her car's getting clean. <laughs> There's no one else here, look. It's just us. My sister's going on a road trip tomorrow, so that's why she's cleaning her car. Do you know that's something Matt does? Whenever he goes on a road trip, the car has to be... I don't even know why, because when he comes back to Delhi. <laughs> yeah, but he always, any time we go anywhere, he's like, right, I need to get clean the car. As if, that's his thing. For me, I just need to make sure the snacks are top tier. And I always think about the services. What snacks do I get then? Crisps. Oh, I don't want to 
<laughs> yeah, you clean your car and then you have people eating yeah, in your car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you need snacks. And also, think about the services and where you're stopping over. You have to. Services is such a vibe. I'm at my sister's now and I've opened up all the windows just to get some fresh air in. A little bit later, oh, I can hear a dog. Oh, I'd love a little dog. I would honestly love to have a little dog. Um, but I just, do you know what? I want to be able to give all of myself, you know, and I think I need a few more clear scans and then maybe one day, I just, I'd feel really bad. Um, if I had a dog, I would feel, I would want the dog with me at all times. I would feel really guilty leaving them. So I didn't think, yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't leave them in the house alone. It would make me so sad. And then if I'm at work, I'd be constantly thinking about them. And I think if I had a job that I could work from home, that would be ideal. But with my job, it's I have to physically go in. It would be so nice to have a little best friend with me at all times. Maybe one day, who knows? Maybe in about five, ten years time. Right, I wasn't meant to talk about dogs, but think where I heard the dog barking. I, I've opened up all the windows just to get some fresh air in. I can't wait for the kids to get home. I'm gonna give them a big, big, big cuddle. I'm gonna squeeze them like this. Just can't wait to squeeze both of them. I've got them the Easter eggs. Matt's coming here later. He's got a few work bits he needs to kind of finalize and sort out. So I told him, right, you finish everything off and then come when you're all done because I don't want him to come here and still have to think about work. So I'd rather him kind of shut off completely, get the things done. When he's with me and my sister, even if we're on our laptops, we talk a lot, a lot. We've got so much catching up to do and we do talk all the time on the phone, but when we see each other, it's another level of so he doesn't get to get, he doesn't get to do as much as he'd want to. So I think he's happy just getting things done and then coming to see us here. Um, Amma, I'm not sure if she's going to come just because I think she has work tomorrow. So I think she might have an early night. I don't know what her plans are. She said she's gonna rest up and just decide in a little while. My cousin is coming over as well. So I'm excited to see her and my auntie just give them a big cuddle as well. I just think about the times when things were bad and we were all in a bad place. Oh, Matt's messaging me. Oh, he said he's not done yet. I didn't expect him to be done. Oh. Um, yeah, um, what was I saying? Sorry. I just think about how much we've gone through together and I'm just excited to see them. They know that the scans were all clear as well. I've already told them. It's just really nice to kind of give people good news. Honestly, it's just anytime anyone knows that I'm having a scan done. I think because the lung thing happened all of a sudden, didn't it? No one expected it really. We knew there was a nodule, but we never thought that was gonna be cancer. Even when they removed it, everyone was like, are you sure it's cancer? Did they say? And I said, yes, they've tested it, it is cancer. So I think where I was fine, before the lung issue, I was fine. I was kind of back at work. I was doing my, I was just living my life. And all of a sudden the scans came up with those results. So when I had scans this time round, everyone was just waiting, waiting for me to tell them what's gone on. And I, I just told everyone, right, scans are clear, next lot in three months, but we can all just be like, ah. And now I'm just gonna leave it aside and just enjoy my days and make these memories. This is gonna be something I do for the rest of my life now, making memories. I wanna be able to document all the good as well. I feel, I feel that it's important to show you my every everyday life. I think it's nice having these memories with my family and just, everyone is changing and everyone's life is changing. People are getting married, people are having children, um, Aston, Ella, my nephew and niece are getting bigger and changing. So it's nice to kind of document it and have it all in one place. I still haven't been able to kind of go back on my old videos just because I don't want to see myself looking unwell or, you know, I haven't been able to look back, but one day I am going to look back and think, wow, this is what happened at this time and this is what my nephew was doing and this is what Amma looked like and this is what Matt looked like and it's just nice to have 
it all here and it's also incredible that I get to share my life with you as well. Thank you so much for being here for everything, the good, the bad, me crying, me getting emotional, me talking a lot, a lot. I just really appreciate each one of you because you all give me that kind of motivation and the strength and you always make me feel that I'm never alone because you always share your story and your life and the hardships that you're having to go through as well. So I do feel really kind of grateful for the community we've got here. This Tiffany Thinks family honestly is the most loving, most caring family and I just think we always have to send out positive energy to everyone. Everyone that's here, let's send out positive energy, lots of prayers and because I get so much love and positive energy so when I see someone struggling or someone leaving a comment and I'll see another Tiffany Thinks member commenting back saying oh I've been through this as well and you're gonna get through this, we got this, it honestly melts my heart because this community, this family is so 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 loving and I'm so grateful for each one of you honestly thank you for allowing me to do this and allowing me to show you all all the sides of my life I'm just playing with Ella we put water in here we put water in here animals we've got a pig oh Hello. Look who's here! Shamla Mommy hasn't been on my video for a while. And there's Ella. Say hi Ella. Hi Ella. And there's Nata. It's been a while everyone. No one's been on my vlog. Everyone's been saying no to coming on the vlog. Oh, you want to be the vlog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, Yeah, I missed you. Hi, Hi Anna. Anna. <laughs> oh, you know, oh, yeah. I can't put that in, can I? <laughs> oh, she didn't get it. I want to get some. They want it. So, 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 do we start? Yeah, you start. Yeah, we'll start. Ooh. Ooh. Um, oh, what color? Okay. We choose yellow. Yeah. She goes to red. Okay. Uh oh. Did you look at our, did you look at our cards? She may have chosen. Did you look at our cards? My goodness. We're home now, it's so late. I'm going to go have a shower, brush my teeth, get into my cozy pajamas. Guess what? So when we were driving back here, Matt got an email to say, you know the John Lewis lamp, the floor standing lamp, it's back in stock. So we actually need to make an order and um, I spoke about this before, but we really, really loved this floor stand, for lamp and it was sold out for a very long time and we both signed up to the email saying when it's back in stock please notify and Matt gave his email where's my phone I'm sure I would have got an email to say it's back in stock now so I'm going to make the order tonight and when it's here I'll show you all um because I've talked about it and I really did look everywhere for it I checked eBay I checked everywhere i looked online to try and hunt it down because i just thought john lewis wasn't going to stock it we saw it back in december and yeah so it's been a long time so i just thought that's it they're never bringing it back anytime we'd go kind of shopping we'd look at all these lamps and we'd always say oh the john lewis one was the best the john lewis one we'll just have to wait for it so 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 happy we can kind of order that tonight when it gets delivered and we set it up i will show you darling i'm telling everyone about the john lewis lamp being back in stock the john lewis lamp being back in stock <laughs> right i'm gonna go now thank you all so much for watching and spending the whole day with me i'll see you all in my next video um I'm going to try and post a video on Tuesday because I haven't done a Tea with Tiffany Thinks video so maybe I'll put one out on Tuesday so we can have a little chit chat, talk about kind of the starting of the month and what I want to do for this month so maybe that will be my next video. I love you all a lot a lot a lot. If you haven't subscribed please subscribe and 
join my loving Tiffany Thinks family. My Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok is Tiffany Thinks. If you wanna, if you, <laughs> if you wanna follow my Tiffany Thinks book club page, you can. It's on Instagram. I will see you on Tuesday, hopefully, for another video. See you then. Bye. I love you a lot, a lot, a lot. Thank you for watching. Pshk.